Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're creating a VR experience inside Adobe XD in less than 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's just get started with this tutorial. I have a Telegram channel now, so go ahead and add me on Telegram. Just follow the link in the description or on the screen. So in this tutorial, we'll be making a, a VR experience for Netflix. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll create a 1920 by 1080 artboard. Uh, even though the recommended size is something different, but for the sake of the design, we're going to keep it just like this. Now, I've already imported all the colors and components from Netflix website. You can, you can also simply do that by going to the plugins and checking out a very cool plugin called Superposition. Once you have Superposition opened up, you can just search for netflix.com slash in or whatever URL you want and you'll get the colors, typography, spacing, border, red eye, shadows, everything. And you can use everything from here and put it right here in here. So I'll click on this artboard first and I'll say black out. Now it's not pure black and in a minute you will see why we don't really need to set up a background color, but I'm doing that just for reference. Now I have already set up my navigation as well as my little icon here which says Puneet Chawla, that's my name, so this is the profile. So I'll place a really big square here which is 593 by 593 pixels in size. Click on this rectangle here and on the right, I have this option called Repeat Grid. I'll click on Repeat Grid. And as you can see, these little bars or handles have appeared right next to the square. I will drag this out. And as you can see, it already copies anything that is in this grid for me. If I hover over the space between these squares, I'll see this being highlighted. I can drag in to make it come closer and I'll make sure there's only zero pixel space between each one of these squares. Now that I've placed uh, this grid here, what I will do is I have already downloaded a few images from the Netflix website and I'm going to drag all three of these images and place it right here inside this grid. As you can see, the images have automatically been placed for me. I will make some manual adjustments on my own I'll make sure that everything is clear and the images look good as well. Now that we have this prepared, I will go to this ungroup grid and I'll click on ungroup grid. And this grid has been ungrouped. Now we have a clean interface of certain images. I will quickly just place the text over this uh, with the title, uh, nothing super fancy, but you can do it on your own. I'm pretty confident. Now in VR, you want to make sure that all the text and the things that the person should be able to view and focus on is big and very visible. Now that we have this ready, I want to add some interaction inside VR. So what I'll do is I will click on this artboard. I'll click Command D or Control D on Windows and this will duplicate my artboard. Now what I will do is I will just expand one of these I will expand this group appropriately. All the elements have now been fit according to what I want them to be. I'll place two big squares again. I'm not giving them any specific size here because it's more experimental. Make sure that the border radius is about 12 pixels. And make sure that the border radius is about 12 pixels, maybe a little more, 24 pixels, much better. One, I will remove the border and I will give this a Netflix red. So to do that, I already have saved all these colors here. So I'll click on this Miyamoto red. And as you can see, it has now changed to this red color. I will place text here saying play now. In the case on the left, I will remove the border again and give this a black color. Reduce the opacity to about 50%. There you go. In this, I will place a text which says go back. Now that we have a good looking interface, let's convert this into a VR interface. So for that, I'll go to my plugins and there is a very good plugin called Draft XR. And if I click on Draft XR, it loads, it takes about a second to load and it might ask you to log in. You, you'll do that and you'll enter this screen. I will select any artboard on the screen here and I will get a few options like this. 
First thing I, I want to do is remove the curvature completely. Also, I will deselect this hover if it has been selected by default. I can change the image in the background, but for this case, I'll leave it to this, uh, this dark gray right here. The positions also I can change. So where am I viewing something will be defined by these positions. You can experiment with these on your own. Right here, there is an option called new draft. I'll click on new draft and I'll create a new draft very simply by naming it. So I'll YouTube experiment is what I'm going to name it. Now I'll click on create a new draft and it might take a second or two, but it will do the process in the back. Once this has finished, you go back and you best believe that your project has been saved. I'll click on this artboard and I'll select update existing. It fetches the drafts for you. And as you can see, I have a experiment right here, which is said as YouTube experiment. I'll click on this and I'll say update. Now it has been updated and a project has been created. We will go to prototype and actually prototype this now. If I click on this first block, there is an arrow which appears. I'll drag this arrow to the second artboard right here. I will click on tap as a trigger on the right, change from transition to auto animate. And here I can change the duration or easing, but it doesn't really make much of a difference since a lot of animations will not be seen in the VR experience. Now that this experiment has been saved, I will click on this option which says open in browser and let's see the magic happen. As you can see, we have opened it in the browser and it looks extremely good. I also tested it out on my phone and it looked good on that as well. You can change the values on the left as we had seen earlier to make sure that you have a perfect positioning on your artboard and you can change rotation, position, default position, everything from right here itself. I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also give this a huge thumbs up because that helps my videos and my channel grow more. I post every Monday and Thursday. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.